Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. An electron enters a uniform electric field of strength E with a velocity V. The direction of V is not parallel to E. What is the path of the electron after entering the field? So my dear students, let us say, let us take this example. Like this is the plate here, just like a capacitor's plate. And this is another plate here. So this plate is negatively charged. This plate is, uh, okay, this upper is negative. The downward is positive. So electric field is like this. Electric field is like this. Now, the electron is now entering into this field. So when the electron enters into this field, what do you think would be happening? This is negatively charged. It would be getting attracted towards positive charge, would be repelled by negative charge. There will be a force which would be acting in the downward direction on the electron. And that force will be given by Q into E, isn't it? Isn't it? That is the electric field E and the force will be QE. So that force will start acting on the electron. So now this force is not going to change the direction. So electron first starts moving downwards. Let us say it reaches this point. So what is the direction of the force now? It is even, even now it is downwards. It is not now the perpendicular to the motion of electron. No. So this is going to be a kind of a parabola here. Just a moment. Let me draw it. So if it is going to move like this, because it is being acted upon by a force just like gravity. So it is moving like this. So this, the, the trajectory that would be followed by the electron will be a parabolic path, isn't it? You can very well compare this thing with uh, the topic two mechanics, where we say that there is a ball here and we just kick it. So it would be acted upon by the gravity every point. At every point, it is experiencing a downward force and the force is not changing its direction. And so the trajectory of the ball is now parabolic. And this is absolutely the same case because it is now, instead of weight, it is now acted by the electrostatic force. But the characteristic of force is typically the same. What, what, what are those? Like the, the magnitude of the force is not changing. The direction is always downwards. It is not perpendicular to the velocity vector. And that is why I can say definitely it is going to be parabolic. Okay, so it's saying parallel to E, parallel to V, no, and circular, no. And yes, the answer is definitely B. So my dear students, this is Professor Guru. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. All the best. Bye.